This is part three to the Flat Earth Theory of the podcast. And if you haven't seen part one or two, be sure to check our YouTube and also listen to wherever you stream your podcast at. But um, yeah, right. we're back. So part three to the Flat Earth Theory. You know, we've been going over this stuff about Earth being flat and people saying Earth is being flat. I don't know if I believe in it, but some of the stuff they say kind of rings true to it. But it's like, eh. Not necessarily rings true, but it kind of pulls at your your heart and your intelligence at the same time because you don't know what's out there, right? We don't know. We've never been out there. And we all have that that thought process of wanting to know what that mysteriousness is. You know, what I mean, where do we come from? What's 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 out past these areas that they don't let us go to? Is there space? Is there not? Is there a moon? Is there a sun? Or is all of that shit just fabricated? Mm. Yeah. So. I so. Say, and, well, I, say, I, say, I say it's like the Diddy case. Once you find out one thing is true, it all could be true. So we just yeah. waiting on that one piece of evidence. And no, I wasn't mm. going to talk about anything going on in that case. I don't want to talk about nothing about Diddy. I wasn't. I was yeah. just saying like, just, I'm saying like, yeah. once you find out one thing is true, then everything can be true. All right. Well, speaking about truths, everybody reads the Bible here. Everybody, right? I mean, or read the Bible here and there. I should Good do parts. more. Of it. Yes. People believe in what the Bible says. Yeah. To a point, everything yeah. the Bible says. Yes. Like, do you believe in giants? Giants was in the Bible. Do you have a hard time believing in that? You know, I don't. I won't talk. say that I don't believe the things that's in there. I'm more of a. I've always been a see it to believe it type of person, but when it comes to some of the stories in there, there's explanations that could coincide with some of the stuff that we're talking about right now. All right, you know so what I mean? I'm gonna read a I'm gonna read a Bible verse. It's from Genesis, the book of Genesis. I think is I see uh, what this nigga's doing. Yeah, you know, oh yeah. Gray, 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 gray is crazy, bro. Genesis, <laughs> chapter one, verses six through eight. And God said, let there be the firmament in the mm -hmm. midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters and where beneath the firmament from the waters which above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. From the Hebrew word in the verse of, I'm going to fuck this up, requires pronounced ra yeah. he ah. <laughs> Are you reading the I Bible and cussing up. simultaneously? Hey, <laughs> man. It's might be. You know what? He is here. going to smite thee. The, oh, so smite here, thee. It is, here it is again. This is another verse because we just said the firmament. This is also in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1, mm -hmm. verses 14 through 19. And God said, let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the, from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for the lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights. The greater light is the rule of day and the lesser light is the rule of night. He made the stars also. And the God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give them light upon the earth and to, and to rule over the day and over the night. And to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw it was good. In the evening and the morning were fourth day. So basically, in the Bible, they say that God created this firmament. Mm -hmm. And in that firmament, the stars that we all see, he put them in the firmament. He created the sun and the moon. It just rotates around <clears throat> the firmament. The firmament. Mm hmm and within the firmament or outside the firmament it's outside within. the firmament oh, oh, it's within. The, hev the heavens we can't penetrate the heavens the heavens is where the firmament the, the firmament the dome they create is the heavens so we Does can't it say in the bible where it's placed it's placed or above is it just say does it say it's beneath or above the firmament does it say okay. that I'll show you a picture. because if there's no if there's no picture. definite explanation of where it's placed, you don't know. Could be inside, could be All outside. Right, so this is this is how they this this is how they uh 
Which means this is how they display the from it right here. Yeah, you see the sun is inside. See, is it the biblically cosmo, uh, cosmology of the firmament, the Hebrew? This is how they got the firmament set up. It's inside. It right the yeah, water's above seat, the firmament. The, the sun is in the inside. Yeah, the stars the in the, the inside, firmament. The suns is in the inside. Yeah, it's all on the inside, and there's Mountains. waters above. Yeah, it's in not, this particular, yeah, it's within. Yeah. It's not above. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. The vast solid dome created by God during the Genesis created a narrative narrative of separate the primeval seas in the upper and lower portions, so that the dry lands could appear. So, this okay. is this is how they explain. This is the picture of the firmament you see right here. That earth is down there. Slow the pillars of earth, and you can see is the dome covering this whole thing. So. That's how they explained it. Hmm. So, where I where where we at with this with the firmament? With a lot of people, people who believe in the Bible who says, "Ah, oh, the Earth is not flat; it's actually round." When does the Bible know, come into play? How the much? Re, how much of the religion? How much of the Bible do you believe? Do you think this is a made-up story, or do you think there's some truth in it? Got to be some type, some type of truth, I would think. I mean. I'm not going to go over what I believe. Obviously, I you know believe in the Bible, but there you you would have to think they got it from somewhere. But my I want to concentrate more on the fact that when you start to have this conversation, how it could be dismissed so easily, and then a person can say, you know, when you ask them, do they believe everything in the Bible? They say yes. Well, they, I was going to ask that right there. So now what? It's like, what do you think about the a uh, 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 Christian who? Reads the Bible, believes in God, but also believes in space, science, going to the moon, right? Uh, you know, because what do you think about that type of believer? Do you, do you think it's contradictive? I think it's programming, all of it. Uh. I think it's all programming. Like it's all <laughs> like, you know, we talked and 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 obviously we're not going to go over this right now. We'll go over it another time. But we talked about like the how you sent a video of like, you know, the Rockefeller school, like, mm -hmm. like after the 1920s, you said, yes. I think Correct. Um, Correct. that things started changing, like the whole Rockefeller was, educational system kind of changed, changed, changed they, everything. They took a whole element out of the element to uh, uh, ether. Uh, yes. Or the ether or something like that. But if we, if we think about that, there's clearly a reason why they wanted to guide the masses. Correct. So if you if you think that we've been around for you know X amount of thousands of years, how many times did that happen? How many times have we have stuff been erased from history so they can guide, you know, guide the 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 conscious the, the global consciousness towards the way that they wanted to? Uh, right. I mean, it's easy. Look at just look at the King James Bible and the old testament and the, the Bible. James? Yeah, yeah. And the Bible before the King James Version. There's a lot of verses missing in the King James verses that were in the old Bible. Mm -hmm. So man has a hand playing with this Bible and and religion and stuff they want to keep in and stuff they say is like, hey, you know, this is this book is just guidance. It's not no truth to it. It's just a it's a guide to guide you in a better life. So um why not why tamper with this thing in the firmament? Like, why tamper with it? What is what is so what is so scary about trying to penetrate that dome? Like, is this something that we're not supposed to be? <laughs> I'm serious. Like, it just sounds try, funny. Is this right. something you're not supposed to try to, try to go through? That dome. <laughs> yeah, penetrate the dome. I mean, uh, what was it? The the tower of uh, that tower called the tower of something they built. Uh, I got to look it up. But man used to uh. Man, man built the tower. Down. Yeah, yeah. Man built the tower that was going to tower reach of Babylon. The yeah, man be built the tower that was going to reach the heavens because all mm -hmm. men at the same time spoke the same language. Mm -hmm. And as they got closer to the heavens, God struck the tower down, and and made men all men speak different languages so they couldn't come and collaborate to do something again. Depend, you know, to reach the heavens. So maybe people said, "Hey." We don't want this to happen again. This whole firmament and space thing. Let's just create a program. 
called NASA, where we show people that we're going to space. So nobody will ever try to fucking <laughs> penetrate this shit again. That's why I keep looking at. That's why I keep. Yeah, I said it again. That's why wait, I keep looking. What? Wait. Let's hold on. I got, I got something go very interesting. Yeah. You want to go funny first, no. or you want to go interesting? Go first? funny. Go funny and interesting. Yeah. You do it. I'm same just time, saying. Right? Imagine you are a, a NASA. NASA's first created, right? And to my understanding, uh, they did all of their work underwater. They were uh, aquatics, like. Everything that they had to do was underwater. So imagine somebody like Rockefeller coming up to you, like, "Hey, uh, we want y'all to switch over and see if we can get y'all in space. Send y'all through through the skies above. We're gonna put y'all on a rocket. <laughs> All right, let's try it. <laughs> it. It never works. So you're just taking out NASA and NASA instructors left and right, trying to get through the firmament." To the point where you just like, you know what? We're just going to have to fake this. You know what <laughs> I mean? So now they're doing everything underwater, pretending that they're actually out in outer space. That's the creation of NASA right there. Okay. So from the beginning. You said that's the, okay. From the um, that's, that's how they changed it. That's how they, that's how they made a pivot. So, so, so real quick. All right, so you guys know who created NASA? Like, who was the head of NASA? Like, who created NASA? His name was Warner von Warner von Braun. Okay, Warner von Braun. And um, something interesting when he died. This is the creator of NASA. He was around when I believe when they say they went to the moon and everything. And when he died, they put something like he put something. He had something put on his headstone. It was Psalms um, chapter nineteen, verse one. And let's see, uh, he, he died in 1977. He was born in 1912. And um, if, you, if you look, it says the 19, Psalms 19 one is a, a, psalm, a, psalm, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Um, day after day, they pour forth speech night after night. They, okay, basically, that's talking about the firmament. This is the creator of NASA referring to the firmament, a verse that refers to the firmament, the creator of NASA. <clears throat> that's crazy. That's, that's, is that, nobody else thinks that's crazy or weird? No, that is, that's, that's very weird. Let's talk about it, please. It's, it's, that, I, the creator of NASA. It's not, the, it's not coincidental either. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. They did, they did test after test and realized, bro, we ain't getting out there. There's no yep. way, yep. at least at least not with the knowledge that we have right now. Yeah, you know what I mean. We need to figure it out. But but he knew they were sending people up there to die after after a certain point. Like yeah, let's put let's try this rocket. Let's let's try this angle. Let's see if we can make it explode and push it through. Or man, they were sending. Shit, do you believe that they were sending monkeys? Like, do you actually believe? Like, yo, we're sending we're sending. I would out there. And them actually making it like the all I can imagine is the niggas in NASA. They was in the they was in the uh the the fucking uh what do you call it when they got the they was in the conference room and they was all right who's ready to base next? We ain't get through yet, but who's ready? And there's, who's ready? there's two yeah. guys, there's two guys and two monkeys, and the guys is like this, and the monkeys is like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying today. Niggas like <laughs> Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited. Your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited, proud sponsor of the Opinionated Podcast. You don't send Bobo or no? <laughs> Bobo, got, Bobo ain't got no kids. He ain't got nothing. Send his ass up there. <laughs> like I'm looking yeah. at old. I'm looking at old launches from the '90s. It's like, man, it's like 
you never see him like go like off in the space. It's like these big videos and I mean, his camera pans to the fucking shit. It's like it never seen like Elon Musk shit when he's launching his rockets. You can actually see they're hitting something. Like when their rockets go up, he's hitting something. And then it curves and it makes that like like it's the weirdest shit ever. Like I it's like maybe he's the technology has gotten better and he's like yo I can't penetrate this shit either. Um, something's stopping me because he's doing he's not doing he's not reaching outer space. He said he's reach, reaching the the like the upper atmosphere and then returning back to Earth. Mm-hmm. Basically, that's saying to me is like, yo, I can't penetrate this shit. I'm not going to kill my people. I can't go through it, whatever this is. Because every time I see that picture, it looks like he's going through water. And then it comes back down to earth. Like, Mm. it it is the weirdest shit ever, man. Like, even when you see, like, uh, which we're going to do probably next episode, like UFOs and shit like that or whatever. They always coming from the water below. UVAs, right? Or UVAs, or U, U, UAPs. That's what UAPs, they're called. UAPs, UAPs, UAPs. Because most of them is like, yo, they're flying around, boom, and they go back in the ocean. It's rare that some go, like, you know, some shoot up into the atmosphere, but they fucking not, you know. It's like, yo, man, they just disappear. Maybe they're the only thing. Maybe they're the things coming down from heaven saying, hey, listen, you fucking dickheads on earth, y'all getting a little too close. Like we struck down a, the Tower of Babylon. Don't make us fucking scorch. Don't make us scorch Earth to teach y'all another lesson to chill the fuck out. Because that'd be the next step. Just think about it. We got all, now with technology. Now we can all communicate each, with each other without speaking the same language. Correct. So we got that technology back that we lost. That was natural to us, I guess, eons ago. Now we all communicate with each other. Now we all building. Lab and to build rockets to launch in outer space, the sea space. Like maybe somebody's yo. scared. Like yo, man, that story about Babylon Tower is true. I don't know what it happened this time. They decided to fucking strike us down. I don't know what technology the heavens have. Like maybe they just might scorch Earth again or send us back to the Stone Age. Can I ask y'all why yeah. do we all have different? Uh, like why does America have NASA? Russia has. The Russian version of NASA, China has the Chinese version of NASA. Why don't we all work together to get to other planets or to um to mine other planets and, and shit like that? Why are we all separate? Because if somebody wants to control this. Why would you collab with somebody you consider your enemy to help them get technology or get you know better resources you, from how outer space? You, how how could you Keep in control of the masses if the masses were all unified. You can't. He needs who whomever controls whatever is being controlled, whether we are the centerpiece of this earth, this so-called planet, um, or plane. You know, what I mean, if if we are as Kev put the videos up previously, and I believe it was could have been part two might have been part one check them check them both out uh the outer lands were the more peaceful lands and the one who reigned supreme over this realm was evil pure evil and he wanted to control things and do things his way how could you keep all of the masses under your control if they all decided to get together and figure things out Mm, you know what I mean, I have the map. I, I, I have these that wars map being learn. created, it's not like the double to me. These wars being created against each other. You know what I mean? Between between people who are more similar than different. No matter where you go, no, regardless of if you take away the culture and the beliefs, religion, um, traditions, and you mm-hmm. strip it down to just bare human biology. There is no difference, but but features. Right. We all have the same organs. We all have the same. We all think the same way in a sense. Mm -hmm. Memories. We all do the same things. You wake up, you're hungry. You got to take a shit. You got to take a piss at some point. You know what I mean? You have a thought process. Some are better than others. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It. But 
when you break it all down, it's just one species. So to control all of that, you separate them for what they would have known, which would have been a unity between one group of millions of billions of, of them. There's a billion of us. You separate a billion of us. Now right. we all fighting each other. Yeah, you're right. For what? A better peace, a better life. They want, they just want better things. Right. They want their beliefs to be to be believed in by others. You're fighting over religion, you're fighting over food, you're fighting over money. But but eliminated all that. And if if we all had the same exact shit and we didn't have to fight over it, then what happens? We all become one big ass group that's hard to to take out by yourself. Yeah. Billions yeah. of us. Got to have a common common enemy, for yeah. A common enemy for a whole what we perceive as Earth to unite and because guess what, all them alien movies, they the come, movies. they're all united. They come as one species, and the, the only thought process they have is we wiping y'all out, and we are gonna take this Earth that y'all disrespect. <laughs> you know mm. what I mean? Like Ooh, y'all disrespect look at that soil. Yeah, look at this. Y'all got water. Damn, we that shit got fat water. soil. We haven't seen water in decades and centuries, lifetimes. I'm thirsty, nigga. I'm thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking speaking more about the flat earth and what Kev was talking about. Uh, they got I spicy know. water down there. That's got salt. Yeah, it's called Sprite. Yo, they, nigga. they season their water at Earth. <laughs> right? It's called Sprite. <laughs> Look, we, can, we can boil the whole all the water up and have it's just food already in there. Mm, nigga. Fishes, <laughs> fish, fishes, whales. It, it already seasoned. <laughs> It's already season, just heat that shit up. Unlimited food. You know what I think? A lot of people have a hard belief in this flat earth and the midi lands. There's like, oh, if something like if something was on this planet, how could it be so fast? How big would the planet have to be in order to support all of this many earths and all these lands? It's like, bro, you ever see fucking Saturn or fucking Jupiter, these fucking planets out there are fucking a million times bigger than fucking Earth. Like, it's, yeah, it's possible, you know? But they're like, well, 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 if that was the case, the gravity would crush us. Well, uh, saying to that, I say to the people, yeah, the gravity would crush us if the planet was that big. Well, if you're a species that evolved on a fucking planet with high fucking gravity, motherfucker, you're already used to this kind of dense gravity. You're not going to just say, oh, this this place just got really big and the gravity got heavy. Look, there's fucking fish at the bottom of the ocean that fucking the gravity down there can fucking crush you like a fucking soda can. Yes, I mean, sir. crush your soda can to nothing. Pressure. Fucking, yeah. The pressure. But these fish swimming down there, live down there like it's nothing. When, right. body, when, when they come up to the surface, their body changes, but they're used to swimming around and living that in all day. There's a little fucking krill down there that you say, man, I can squash that with my fucking hand. How is that living at this death in the ocean with this much pressure so this shit can't exist just because it's bigger doesn't mean we're not used to the gravity we evolved with this gravity we're used to it yeah it's just a this is a dumb species. thing it, it, and you know what i feel like you got to give people a, a brain test in the unfathomable if i told you okay could you imagine could you imagine no heaven no hell and you cease to exist you can't imagine that it's unfathomable it's the same thing about what this earth could very well be yeah like yeah in your brain you don't know what it could be and how big it could you know how much it could support all of these life forms but it ain't for you to know it's like the ants we we, we always refer to ants do you really think they fathom how huge this world is on their little ass, they little ass ant mound. No, they don't know what the fuck going on. All they know is get up, go lift some shit ten times heavier than you, <laughs> steal sugar cubes, or whatever the fuck ants do, and go back to that little ant hill, go to sleep, and do that shit again. They don't know. It, it, it's the it, same thing. It, it, that's, that makes so much sense because ant black like, man, where I live at is so fucking huge and vast. Like you live in a township, which is, lies within the state, <laughs> which lies on a continent. That what lies on earth you don't you can't understand how big it is that right that fucking ocean you see over there is nothing more than a fucking lake right it's a lake that that's a lake but to you that's a fucking vast ocean that spans so far as the ant i wonder if it's a version of moses yeah so 
You not hear even, not even, it. not even a lake, bro. It's a a puddle outside in front of your house. To an ant could be an ocean. You know what I mean? Like, well, I'm and it, when it comes to like species and shit like that, you gotta look at it like ants are small, and our universe to them, or, or our regular world is like a universe to them, but it just graduates over and over again. You know what I mean? Like, obviously. If we're if we're big and we can tower over insects and certain pets, there's got to be something bigger than us that towers over us that looks down and be like, "Y'all little ass niggas, y'all know." You don't even know. Yeah, I'm letting y'all be here. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm gonna turn this well, knob right here and put this little hurricane in y'all direction. <laughs> so, yo, they throw hurricanes at us. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've never really liked Florida. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just turning shit. Damn. You know what I mean? Well, see, see now, as most. you can see, this is the flat earth. This is a flat earth map. We reside in the middle. You see the ice wall all around here. And then you can see the lands out of here, outside of here. You keep going Ooh, down. You got the frozen ice. wasteland. Scorch earth. The mount. They got a mountain ring. And beyond that, the walls of Asgard, Odin. Stuff spoken about in the Slavic religion, Athens, Atlantis. Huh, like, they said it moved, or they said it got destroyed. Nah, they moved. I, I was, no part of, I was of Anubis, Isis, Osiris. These is these is things that they mentioned in Egyptians, uh, Egyptian, Egyptian religions. Gods. Mm -hmm. The gods, Egyptian gods, yeah, Egyptian gods. Yes. One and day we'll get can't into the fathom of, that maybe the of Egyptian gods. Wonder. Neptune's ocean, solitaire. But say this is this is real, like man. Say this is like us on the fucking. You know, we're in the middle. We're just in a mini scale. We just haven't been able to fucking. I mean, we could reach it because technically is is within our reach. But I mean, people say we're banned to go from the ice wall because there's a treaty. Of, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a treaty. Antarctic Treaty. Let me let me ask y'all because I'm, I'm I was thinking about one day writing a writing a book or a movie about it one day. Uh, but just I, it was. What if this was just a? What if all of that was linked? Right. Like just follow me down this down this path of woo woo. We talk about living a virtuous life. I might have said this last episode. We talk about living a virtuous life and and following following the Bible and then after that going to heaven. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's that's even if you are Muslim, you know, following the Quran and, you know, and and all of that. What if that's what this is? Right. You do what you got to do here and the way you pass through the ice wall or you get to the other lands is basically you live a good life and then you're accepted into that. But if you don't, you just live this life over. What if this shit is hell? And you got to make it through hell to get to heaven, and well, that's of, and that's the lands outside. Well, that's you know what I'm saying. A lot of religions believe in, like you see. No, that no, no. Talk, talk, like just, just, just venture into that with me and talk about it further. Yeah, like actually, I, that's glorious, and it makes a lot of sense because remember what they say: there's nothing new under the sun. So, so what if? Have you guys heard that there's supposed to be a second moon for the next two months? Have you yeah. heard anything yeah, about yeah. that? I'm about to say both of y'all. Kev said it first, then you so, said something about it too. So, uh, this imagine if if there are different moons that circulate around this so-called flat Earth, right? Mm -hmm. And it's once every few hundred years that maybe the moons come across each other. Because of how they rotate. Mm -hmm. Maybe the seasons in Asgard aren't the same as the seasons that's, that's here. What if they have eternal, you know, uh, flourishing Greenlands and it never gets cold? It's, you know what I mean? It rains it's a, when it's necessary. It's a nice 70 it's degrees. Beautiful. Yeah. Always. Every day. It rains when it's bright out. You know what I mean? Um, it, you just, it's just beautiful, beautiful, peaceful lands. And we get the four seasons because we get a little bit of every area you know what i mean that 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 surrounds this flat plane 
<clears throat> so what if what you're saying in order for us to pass through these gates nothing new under the sun we're we're always being reborn into this plane because the life before we didn't live to make it an accepted or uh living standards outside of where we're at so you got to keep uh what is it called when uh, no 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 um there's a uh the reincarnate reincarnation your reincarnation is always here until you can be born again outside of this area mm, okay that is a fire thought process i like that hey nice well, creation all, all, all we're, we're supposed to be made out of energy energy cannot be destroyed only uh it can only transfer so maybe that's the truth that's maybe absolutely correct yeah so maybe when and our there's soul levels to your transfer yeah you know what i mean maybe when and you can still up. you can go lower and lower and at the plane that you're at like oh like you said dimensional mm. imagine imagine if your energy and and it's, maybe it's not dimensional like uh it's dementia outer outer set outer outer earth to a new planet or something maybe it's outside of your planet or outside of your plane within the same uh field you know what i mean like um like you said if we if we did really well and we were accepted we'd be able to be outside the arctic wall right what if there's another inner wall within this wall that we live in so say we got a wall and then there's Mentioned another wall. inside of us that oh yeah. Real bad. You just, you just terrible as hell. Real bad. That, that is what they call hell. You know what I mean? Oh, Maybe we're, we're only on the second one. Yo, we hell. We we, we only level level. We level one of hell. Yeah, we level. <laughs> we <laughs> we tier two. <laughs> so the, the, the niggas after that? Oh yeah, nah. They they. It's, you know, it's they like yeah. No, that's hell really, tech support. It's really. <laughs> We're hell customer service. <laughs> so right after that, you get to the good show. <laughs> hey, listen, we used to call Kev's room Hell's waiting room. That old hot ass room that nigga used to have. That's right. Earth is uh, Earth might be Hell's waiting room. I mean, shit. That's hey, what we call Florida. The, <laughs> Hell's lobby. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, hey man, listen. I mean, but like I said, a lot of a lot of religions have that shit. Like. Uh, what was it? You had in Val the reach Valhalla. You had to die glorious, gloriously on battle on the on the battlefield. You you had to die on the battlefield in order to reach Valhalla. You died anywhere glorious. else. You if you didn't die on the battlefield, you'd be considered to be in limbo. I guess maybe they consider limbo to just return back here. Maybe Valhalla is where hey, where all the warriors go. Where, purgatory. Uh, on purgatory. Yeah, that too. That's that's uh, basically limbo, purgatory. This could be purgatory. Like it's it's in like when you really and that's what I'm saying. Like it's so many theories and so excuse me, so many religions and so many beliefs. Like we might have we we might all have it right. Just you know a big puzzle that you know once you put it all together, that's kind of what we're living through. It could be many dimensions. It could be it all could just be true. Mm. It all could be true. Like I said, I mean it might be all true. It might be all you know. Hey. All religion, they all based off the same thing. They all have a, a heaven and a hell, a place after a place your body goes after death. They all speak about the same thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of these religions, a lot of religions tie into a lot of the older religions, all tied into the same firmament belief, the same flat earth belief, and their designs and their pictures of how they describe the earth to look like. They all had the same picture. So, I mean. That's why it's like it's hard for me not to believe in this whole flat earth or the many lands because it's like, yo, why would so many religions and so many other people speak on mm -hmm. the firmament, speak on, you know, this dome that's over us or speak of these other lands that do exist? Like, I, like that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. Like, is a reason if this ain't a hell on earth, then there's a reason why we can't visit these other lands. There's a reason that we can't well, go to these other places. Maybe we're not meant to go to these other places. Maybe we're meant to be here to, you know, be extorted, to pay the taxes, to pay the gold. Mm. This is where the, this is where most of the gold is that goes out to the other lands that, Hey, listen, it's, it's abundant in resources in the middle. So let's just farm the middle, put some people there to farm the middle. 
put a system in place so they don't go outside of the middle and you go uh and, and we trade we, gold and we trade and we take everything from the middle and, and just, just distribute it to the outside think about uh what was that movie called um the uh, fucking kit not the, they had the different districts and all that shit District with the nine, aliens, District nine. twelve, and uh, with nine. the aliens? No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. It was with that. Uh, uh, what was that movie where they had to kill oh, each other? About, you talking about the Hunger Games? Hunger Games. Well, oh. think of the Earth as the Hunger Games. Think of it. <laughs> it not as bad. I think I'm hungry right now. Is exactly. So yeah. think of this. Think of this is that we're living <laughs> Asia's District One and all this, United States is District Two. But like, think like, hey man, we just don't yeah. want to tell you that it's other places. But we're gonna farm. Would you volunteer you yourself? As a tribute, what? Kev? No, fuck no. Yes, you Unless would. Taking my kids, then I volunteer myself. I mean, if they came to take my kids, yeah, I would fucking, yeah, I would definitely fucking sell my like. Hey, I'm up. But I'm saying maybe. But think about it. What? <laughs> he was about to go crazy. He was about to go crazy. About to go crazy. But, but but think about this shit. But think about it, man. Maybe like because you so always mad. see these ocean liners. These ocean liners with all this fucking crude oil and shit like that, they're always cruising the ocean. I you know a couple of them always turn up missing some mysterious uh accident. They all go through the Bermuda Triangle and they never be able to be found again. And planes fly over. Who said who's to say, hey, that's not the trans You're that's right. a gate that translates you to another land that Lost. certain that certain Bro. fucking sailors and crews are only allowed to go on. They go through the Bermuda Triangle, you go to another land, we take your resources that we need. That's send your ass back or don't that's that's a that's a thing with this Bermuda. yeah i also uh somebody just made me aware that the bermuda triangle is not far from where i am right now uh Ooh, i didn't realize close. that but yeah that's a real thing shit get lost in the bermuda I triangle but i think the um the magnetism or something like that like does something but it gets stuff gets lost um, to me that's a what you just said is a very good def, uh, definition it could be a gateway to yeah, the I, other lands, mm, I sailed past that shit. Imagine before, if all these motherfuckers getting lost in Bermuda, it's a better hell. life now. What if they <laughs> not? What if they in the no, yeah, no, they, no, they, they over there, they, they went somewhere else in paradise, or what if they went the oh. wrong way? What if they went to hell tier two? Well, listen, to go, draw- to go off of what Kev said though, uh, with us having um all these different religions, and if you compare the religions to the maps and you see uh asgard you see thoth you see osiris right. you see anubis if you actually look right. up these different gods mm-hmm. they have different purposes anubis yes. god of the dead you know what i mean imagine if just just taking just take this little ride with me mm-hmm. what if all the religions were right what if none of them were wrong what if every single religion is true Mm -hmm. what if each god was recruiting where we are Mm -hmm. coming here teaching them the religions of who they are and showing them their powers we're supposed to have pyramids that that can transport you to different places on this earth what if that is their traveling system what if there was an agreement what if there was a war of the gods where they are recruiting so they can have enough people to continue this war? Like an Earth fantasy draft. For real. Because I got LeBron. All of all of that is just well, too it's, coincidental it's, that all of these are named after mm-hmm. gods. There's all these different religions. There's everybody is taught something and can put some type of fact and history into their religion mm. well, I can, so i can tell you right now who's winning, right. god's winning right now because he's recruiting the most <laughs> it, it, his religion is the biggest is most spread across the nation he's recruiting the heaviest yeah but the, i mean that might be what they tell us yeah we don't might be what they tell us because you go over you go over to the middle east uh, i mean i know i'm a i know i'm a christian and across you know across the United States, there's a lot of Christians, there's a lot of Muslims too. But if you go to the Middle East, we'll get a lot of Muslims. You, you know get a what? Lot of Jewish. I watched a movie um, not too long ago, and 
it really ca caught my attention. It was a horror movie, but it had to do with um, demons and the church. And <clears throat> there was this one woman who was working as a, a nun or becoming a priestess or something like that at a church. And she's learning. Sydney she's, Sweeney? She's, she's, I don't remember if it was Immaculate or not, but I'm not sure if it was that one or a different one. Mm -hmm. It could have been the uh, first... Uh, uh, what, what was it supposed to be? The son of the devil called the it's something about the antichrist, mm -hmm. uh, being born. But um, they had two separate churches that learned about God, but one church was for Satan and one church was for God. But they both, you couldn't if you were just a regular person like us. You couldn't tell the difference. There were like certain priests who knew, oh, that's that's not that's not the type of church you think it is. They may appear to be uh, priests and nuns, but their practices are not what we practice. Like, who's to say that Christianity isn't divided in the same way? Mm. You know what I mean? What would be practiced more? You wouldn't know the difference. It was it was mm -hmm. crazy too because when it when you actually seen what was going on you're like oh shit like they in there trying to trying to support the the coming of antichrist that's crazy and they think that's, it's right and yeah they think that's how the earth is going to get cleansed and people are going to believe that there's an actual god and god's going to come back and save them because the antichrist is now here cleanse where did i hear that before cleansed the big mm -hmm. cleanse all of every every rich <laughs> every religion <laughs> Every religion has a cleansing story or 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 a, a story the earth will return, you know, be destroyed and God will come and take what he wants. I mean, it makes sense because maybe with each God, like, there's an opposer. There's yeah, each God God's an opposer, but opposes each God. So at somewhere, some somehow within that particular religion, there was a separation, you know, between who was in charge and who was once. It's always like the second in command, too. You know what I mean? It's the it's the main, and then it's the supporting actor, and they break apart and they kind of split the religion down into two. How do you not know which religion is the religion that you really are believing in? Well, I, it, I watched it, it, the, it, it, I watched the video where where, and not to try to try to defer what we're actually talking about, but. We were talk. I talk. I kind of spoken with y'all earlier about how this woman was breaking up these Bible verses to show that um, the biggest lie that the me. devil has brought to Earth was making people believe that Jesus is for God when it's the opposite way around. And then she started showing these Bible verses and saying how people have the god within them and everything else is blasphemous <clears throat> and i thought that was interesting too because like i said everything right now we live in a world where everything is hearsay you really have to have faith and belief in something but it's really hard to know what you really want to believe in when there's so much shit out there and there's so many different supports to it even when it comes down to this flat earth shit it's like oh. You either believe it's flat Earth or you believe it's it's the round is I mean the Earth is round. Niggas will never see triangle coming. But well, you, uh, you would never see triangle coming. And then if and, and why is it if there's gravity here supposedly the concept of gravity here and there isn't really much gravity on other planets? Why is every single planet round? Why wouldn't there be other planets that have different figures? Why wouldn't some of them be a triangle, octagon? Hey, they're perfectly round, too. Why wouldn't some of them have ridges or, you know, kind of look like you ever see how how, pe how they look in the magnifying glass and they look at an organism? They have custom shapes. There's nothing that you can compare it to. They could be round and squared at the same time. Where are these other planets? Why is every single planet round? Oh, perfectly and if it's not round... round and you can only you can only ever see the front of it. You couldn't see it actually go. You couldn't actually see the whole planet to know it's round. So what if each of them are discs? 
Who is and, they, and, and they're like this. And they're like this. Layered over each other. And the only reason you see, and when they align, remember, they say, hmm. oh, after a certain amount of time, these planets align. But really, they could just be planes with a T added on the end. They needed to throw something, throw you off and call it something different. But these planes could align. And when they align, there's some type of ascension. Mm. You know what I mean? That boy talking. I'm just saying this shit. There's there's two ain't light skin no more. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, bro, this it's just too much to believe in for you. You have to really believe in something wholeheartedly and think this is the only way to live. But when you realize that you it's not, and you find out a different type of truth, your your world is crushed. Completely. Hey, hey. Yeah, it is you always crushed. I, mean? I, I never see nobody always, in NASA. It's always crushed. I, I never so, seen nobody in NASA ever crushed. point. <laughs> Why NASA? One thing I've never seen about NASA, NASA never points that fucking camera they got on board at the moon. Like, hey, listen, I got an even better picture of this moon. I'm just going to show you the, us going around the Earth the whole time. Why don't never point at the moon? Why is these stars that we can't see on Earth? You know, we can see them on Earth, but light pollution on Earth is dimming these stars. There is no light pollution in outer space but one big sun. Why you can't see this fucking whole galaxy lit the fuck up out there? My thing it's is never any stars. Is never they never point to the moon. They never turn their camera. Listen, hey, let's go look at this distant planet over here that I'm a million miles closer to since I'm in orbit now. I'm a, you know a couple million miles away from the fucking planet. Like, why do they never pan to that shit? Like, it's we've always gone, panned at this listen, round we, Earth. We've every single time we've gone to the moon once, right? Supposedly, right? And lost we've never, technology. we've never gone back again. And never, lost. never walked around on the moon again. But if we were, if if we supposedly were able to get on the moon, what was it, the seventies? Yeah, fifty years ago. Six. Listen, seventies. Fifty, sixty years know. ago. How, however, the case may be. If you look at anything else that we put everything into, sports, technology, we learn, we grow. We've been to the we moon 12 times. We've maximized this potential. I've I've never heard of these other times where, where, where they're just on the moon. Why wouldn't they be broadcasting that shit each and every time? You know what I mean? Why, why wouldn't if, they put a if, space station on the moon? This, yeah, look that's what I'm farther, saying. Not only that, further. but... but, but the one thing that America knows how to do is turn something into mm. a money situation. Sure. So after 50 years of us going back and forth to the goddamn moon, you wouldn't think that there would be a tour by now? Yo, you got a million dollars? Yeah, we could send you to the moon so you can I'm look going. at it. We could, what? Yeah. We could put you on there. We got a ship now. We've been doing this shit for 60 years. We fucking NASA, yep. bitch. It's moon bitches up this? there too. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> we've been bringing space rocks back. Space right? and we've been doing. Yeah, the aliens. That's why they coming back all the time. We gave them passes. Don't trip. We're gonna bring y'all out there. We're gonna show y'all. We're gonna let y'all meet Clip Clark or whatever the fuck this nigga <laughs> name is. Oh. The fucking moon. <laughs> and we're gonna take you around. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, there's, there's also another fucking teleportation from here. To Uranus, we ain't gonna talk about. That. I don't want to. I don't want to go, go there. Freaky station, you don't want. <laughs> Diddy, <laughs> Diddy runs that bowls. station. Sodom and but, Gomorrah. But, but after 50, 60 years of putting our best, <laughs> our most intelligent, our our most tenacious human beings on the planet, the ones who, <laughs> <laughs> why I wouldn't mean, we have been there by now? I mean, well, it's fact crazy. because you got to think about it. Ships, when ships were ver first invented, they were meant to transport goods and shit like that and people to other places on the earth. Now they turned it, you being on a ship to something as, hey, this is a trip, something fun to do. Somewhere to have fun at. We're going to take you to see different islands. They're not going here to pluck their resources. We're just going here for fun and leisure. Just like an airplane. When an airplane was invented, it was like, all right, man, let's get people to see families in different countries. Now it's just meant to take trips. If you went to the moon and kept that technology 60 years later, it would be hey, we have a trip, like Kev said, a fun trip leaving to the moon right now. Like we didn't mass, like you said, we mastered yeah. this shit. They'd have parties well, on the moon, why, why? clubs on that bitch. They would figure out these assholes would figure out how to put gravity on the moon. 
You know what I mean? Oh, now nah, yeah. y'all can walk around and y'all can breathe mm-hmm. here now. We learn how to get plants and water on this bitch. We've been they're gonna figure it Colonizing out. Colonizing the moon. Years. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they would have col- they would have been colon they would have been colonizing because they'd be like, you know what? We once we get to the moon, we colonize it. Now we can go deeper into space because two hundred thousand miles closer to something else or or the asteroid belt. We want to we want to go mine these asteroids. Why not chill on the moon? Fly to the moon, chill, chill here, the moon. then go fly out to a fucking meteor, meteor to the you know, the moon to the meteor, the meteor <laughs> back to the moon, and the shit you get back and send it back to Earth. You they said there's asteroids out. Wow. There's asteroids <laughs> out there. We're <laughs> <trillions. laughs> it, it is. is. That's a meteor like an Uber. <laughs> Yo, like a Bruce Willis suppose, now. Uh, suppose it's a NASA. There's <laughs> fucking meteors out there worth trillions and trillions of dollars. Just in the material they have. I heard it's a diamond, a diamond planet out there yeah. right now. I heard. It's a pl- as I heard, it was, I was watching. How? How do they know these things? Bro? That's what they told me. Because they are lying. <laughs> they just That's what I'm up, saying. We're going to go bring some diamonds back. We're going to go with Diamond Dallas Page and the rest no, of the Diamond no, Gang. I was watching um, <laughs> National Geographic. No, plan, made a, plan made a dookie coming. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's going to be here <laughs> in the next, next 30 you'll, years. You'll what? see. Wait wait till the shit hits the fan. You'll, you'll see then. <laughs> and it's literally on National Geographic. I remember watching on National Geographic. They talk about different planets and how there's like you said there's a fucking planet out there that rains diamonds because of the atmospheric pressure on this planet that allows it to rain diamonds which means you couldn't live on that bitch i'm like yo this is on the science channel this is supposed to be they observed this i'm like how the fuck do do you know that but you don't know shit about at the bottom of your fucking ocean but you know there's a fucking planet out there that you observe that rains diamonds but you don't know shit about what's in your own fucking ocean you don't want to, you know why you know shit about your other ocean because it's on the flat earth theory. That's the only way you can get to these other fucking planes without going through these gates that are easier ways. Is going yeah. to the ocean. You don't want to know shit about your ocean. It just it's just funny shit. They know more about space than they do about our own ocean. That's, that's why it's mean. all and it's that's why it's all bullshit. Mm. Because once whatever they was trying to do and they found whatever they found. Them niggas just start making up stories because it's like, yo, yeah. can't tell. I gotta, gotta tell them this. We just gotta throw them everywhere we can throw them because yeah. if I after a while them. they're gonna get hip to it. And what happens when you get hip to shit? Reset. When a, when a bunch of motherfuckers are being lied to the, with the same exact lie. But then they said that Drake. What, what was that? They said they had a great reset. Great and reset. Earth, Earth been mm. reset so many times. And you can look at it. It had to be a reset because. Look at the shit we dig up. The fucking the pyramids. Uh, Lobeck, Lobecky, Lobeckly, Tepe, uh, whatever. But it's like these fucking... Like Becky these fucking, and them. Yeah, whatever. These old fucking places built with these fucking huge stones and stuff like that. Like, yo, we can't even build this shit now. So that is a technology loss. What, ha- what happened to those people? Sound and vibration. But, but you know what, I'm what happened to those people that they just disappeared off the face of the earth. They didn't pass their technology down. Mm-hmm. You can't, like, you can go back right now a couple hundred years and know how to build a fucking sword in the Middle East, what they used. They they, they kept the technology around. Mm-hmm. Why a couple of thousand years before that, that fucking technology was lost to us, how to move these fucking stones. Like, you just, you just don't want to forget that type of knowledge. Because if I was... If I was a person in, in the Middle Ages and I'm building these little stone castles, why wouldn't I want to have the knowledge to build these fucking huge fucking stone fucking walls to keep my enemies out? I lost that technology. Now I'm going back to moving stones I can only move with my hand to build a fucking castle. Yo, Come you on, know man. That, you know how they say that no, there I'm were thinking. supposedly... No, to go off what you're saying. You, you know how they, they said supposedly there are like hundreds of pyramids underneath yeah the ground imagine if every time there's a great reset they they give us the opportunity to be able to go back and forth to asgard to go to be able to go back and forth to osiris they're like all right it's reset time we're tired of these motherfuckers let's give them another chance Boop, reset they create because remember every time and when you look at history there's things that are built that we don't have the technology to build at that time supposedly so this great reset, they come and they help us again. All right, let's do this. Let's do that. We're showing them this, that, a third. And then and then somewhere along the line, it's that one nigga that fuck it all up for everybody. 
And now these motherfucking shits get buried back underneath the ground. So we end up back. Yeah, Dre's about to play something. Back to this all over again. Yeah, play that. Oh, what's that, Dave? So, okay. here, so here, here's what I imagine, right? I don't mean to interrupt you, but it just popped in my head. Now, imagine you got you paying all these guys to build these skyscrapers, right? They got all these cranes and all types of crazy shit. Mm-hmm. Like you paying millions of dollars to get the skyscraper up, and then the nigga with the pyramid technology that can move that that can move shit just by blowing on a horn or some shit, just roll past niggas, just roll past niggas like this with a big ass stone. <laughs> with, a, with, a, with a big ass stone and a horn, just roll the past. <laughs> But that's what I'm saying. Like a nigga just roll past you just without a care in the world. Just, just rolling past things with the with the little horn flute moving a gigantic piece of marble or whatever the hell it is. That but he's well, tons. vibration. Well, that's just back vibration. To- and he rolled well, past you just like that while well, you in a damn home. big ass. Kevin, you know how to drive these shits. A big ass long reach doing some crazy shit. Yeah, but they're going, they're they're bringing that technology back. They're they're actually looking into that technology to figure out what frequency does what to what material, what moves what. Like it's all they're all researching it again. Let's put a pin right there because there is a lot that comes with the vibration and sound. Like it's not a theory, it's Real. It's fact, and how you can make water do a certain thing just by playing a certain vibration, and it makes a perfect shape. Like, so we'll we'll talk about that another time when we got a little bit more information because I think that's probably one of the most interesting things in the world when you play certain things at a certain vibration that water can react a certain way, or that sand can react a certain matter can so. react a certain way. So my thing is. Now you got to figure out what the hell else it can do. Because guess what? What are we? How much? How many? Per, how many percent water are we? Uh, what is it? Seventy uh, percent water. Right. Eighty percent water. The Earth is seventy percent water. Oh, no, our body's made up of seventy percent, right? Yeah, we the Earth. So if you think about it, when you do li- like, cause my thing is, I, I listen to frequency music here and there. I listen to frequency here and there. You know 60%. what I mean? Percent. We're close. Sixty percent. Now, what do you think? When it comes to vibration, you're other than other than magnetic field or whatever, you know. What I mean, I'm not a you know, I don't know too much about it, but other than you having your own natural magnetic field or whatever, what do you think your body does when it's at a certain frequency? Like you get what I'm saying? Like frequency and energy is probably one of one of the only truths that we are all ignoring, that we're all not taught. You know what I'm saying? And it's a truth, it's a it's a fact, but you're not taught how to harness energy or 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 vibration in any way because oh, once you so we could have been the avatars once you said harvest like that you don't last for what's, airbenders what's missing what's missing if you think about like how we go through life what's missing bro like to be able to manipulate you know manipulate energy fields and like you know what i'm saying because that's that's what they said the pyramids was for the pyramid they said the pyramids wasn't for like teleportation or nothing like that. It was to manipulate the Earth's energy, f- uh, magnetic field to create energy, free energy. Mm. Well, te- they Tesla had wasn't, yeah, Tesla was doing was doing the same thing, and uh, somehow Correct. Tesla his all that work for it disappeared. Correct. Can never, it was going to harness the energy of the atmosphere. Correct. But hey, if you do because that, that's well, what they were doing. You do that, you do that, and we'll have an electric bill, and you can't pay this man to make him a billionaire. So listen, man, everything's everything's around here generated by greed. And maybe yep. the maybe the pyramids was, was up and it's like, look, man, we can't fucking tax the world because we just had a great reset, but we do have this knowledge how to get energy from everything. Once we get stable and shit on this planet, we do away with that technology and put things back in order our way it was. Right now, we're on survival mode. I do you one better. I, so, I will still think you're right about teleportation because I believe if you, when you have um, the energy or the uh, power that we have now, right? Like the, uh, I don't know how it's made. I'm not going to pretend like that, but let's call it like man-made power. I think it works a certain way, but when you manipulate the Earth's magnetic field, I think it opens up a lot more of mm-hmm. 
energy can do. And I think that's why they like, nah, nigga, you could do too much with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'd be you able to get, get you'd be able to get you to them out away. of baseball. You'd be able you to get, get to away. the other Yeah. Y'all, nah. Yeah. Y'all you can this. ascend. Y'all as Kev says, you can ascend. You could whatever. You can teleport. You can do like it's, it opens up a whole nother can of worms. They like, no, nah, not y'all niggas. <laughs> we, not we, y'all. Put y'all, we put y'all in the middle of this flat earth for a reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nah, but holla for me. Exactly. So we're gonna wrap that shit up. That's all for today, man. I, I we was supposed. I don't know if you want to still get into the sky ice theory. Yo, they got sky ice, y'all. Do you want to <laughs> talk about it? <laughs> well, I mean, I think we kind of we kind of like really really went into some other things and really had some good good you know like like some woo woo thoughts about what was going on but uh very 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 briefly you know sky ice is what they're calling what they're saying the firmament is made out of which could make it could make sense you could play that video yeah i played a video for you so i got a video right here if you made it this far thank you if not Go fuck yourself. Appreciate everybody. Mm-hmm, appreciate mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Damn, Drake. Jesus. <laughs> Lord, man, this, crazy. This, I don't this, know what's going God. on. <laughs> My magnetic field going crazy. <laughs> I'm ready to ascend. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> the sun was so cold, it would instantly freeze your skin if you touched it. I don't remember what temperature he said it was, but it was something like hundreds of degrees below zero way colder than the normal ice that was outside. Hmm. He had to carry it in a metal bottle that was kind of like a thermos. He let me play with a piece of it for a while. It felt lighter than a piece of normal ice of the same size. Like it wasn't very heavy at all. It almost felt like you could throw it up in the air and it would just float back down. But I didn't try that. And it was also a little flexible when I tried to bend it. It didn't break like normal ice would. And even for a small piece, you couldn't see through it. It was solid blue right from the surface. And here's the really weird part. It didn't melt into water. When it got warm, because we had it inside, it just started to shrink. It got smaller and smaller, but my glove never got wet, and there was no water on the floor. The stuff just turned into thin air when it got warm and vaporized. He said that was the reason why they had to study the stuff right there in Antarctica. You couldn't take sky ice back to America to study it because it was almost impossible to keep it cold enough during transit. It would always vaporize into air, and you'd have nothing left when you got back to the U.S. He said Russian scientists had discovered the same problem when they tried to take the sky ice back to Russia. So that was why they all had research stations in Antarctica. After maybe 15 minutes of handling the piece of sky ice, it was almost completely gone. Just a tiny bit was left. And my glove was dry the whole time. I've never seen anything like it before or since. And that's unusual, because I've always had an interest in scientific... All right, that's what that you love, buddy. I mean, that's pretty interesting, though. When you when you agree, it evaporated into air. The way he's describing it, it evaporated and got smaller. I don't know why he would try to bend a piece of ice anyway. Like, yo, let me bend this shit. It's not the first thing I would think of, but who bends ice? Least, yeah, exactly. My nigga, I tried to bend maybe, it, but it, I tried maybe, to break it, but it bent. <laughs> yeah. You've never grabbed like a chunk of ice and broke it before? No. I mean, they probably they doing tests on something that they've never seen before, so they're gonna try just about anything. You know what I mean? And the first thing you're gonna do to is you can hold it, and you got you got a little bit of it. You're gonna see if you can break it, see what's inside of it, see how it breaks. Man, he can't break it if it started bending. It's like, oh shit, this ain't no regular ice. He started making ice balls, hitting them up, mother, hitting motherfuckers with it. I imagine whoever that was, Optimus Prime. I imagine Optimus Prime tried to bend that shit and take it back to wherever he was going, and he just could, like I, I feel like this, right? So I do like the fact that he broke down what it could be, like if that was a real person. I do, and, and I kind of believe it, but I want to hear it for a more credible source. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that can really tie it into what's going on up there. Because I feel like um, I feel like the way he explained it, it could still be somebody could still disprove that. You know what I mean? Show me a video. Show me something where I could really see it and say, okay, that's some crazy shit. Yeah. So, okay, that sky ice only exists. This is what I'm about to fuck your head up. Sky ice only exists in Antarctica. Mm-hmm. According to flat flat earth 
flat earthers, Antarctica is pretty much the ice wall. And yeah. the firmament is a dome over the ice wall. Over all of us. Okay. No, 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 no. Because it says it only exists in Antarctica. So mm-hmm. just roll with me real quick. Maybe, and our dome is impenetrable. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that we're locked into one dome that we can't escape in its middle part? We can't get to what's called the heavens, and the heavens are these other lands because these other lands are named after different heavens. They are actually. different religion. Yeah, so we don't know. We don't know because <laughs> some of those uh, gods that are claimed to be that these lands are named after are necessarily they are necessarily them. gods that you want to be around. I'm just saying, but they're all, I'm saying, but explaining the the sky ice he just explained was supposedly a piece of the firmament, but the firmament is a dome that can only be found in Antarctica. Antarctica is the ice wall. So basically we're locked in a fucking dome on this planet and we can't escape. I'm going to say that, I'm going to say that he was talking about sky ice and the people in the comments or people who watch that assume it to be the the firmament. firmament. Okay. Mm. So, okay. I, I'm just saying because, like, if that's the case, and say we break through this fucking dome, because it's two, it's two different flat Earth theories. It's the flat Earth that hey, we're just our well, the, the lands that we got just exist, and there's a a dome over this the whole thing, ice wall, and that's it. Nothing's out after that. It's just space. We're just right. flying through. And then there's another theory that that ice wall is up. To keep because there's more ancient lands that is certain gates you can go through. I think it's like three gates you can go through to visit different parts of the land, and you'll see more land. I like the I, mini domes theory. I, the 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 real way somebody could disprove it, but I don't know if they would ever disprove it. They're like, hey man, just to shut y'all up. If somebody was actually funded by a billionaire that says, hey, we're gonna take a trip to fucking Antarctica, we're gonna film the whole thing. We're gonna go to one of these gates and we're gonna see what happened. We get to one of these gates, we're gonna go live. We're gonna stream this bitch live. Yep. I will fuck everything up if they go through a gate and more land open up to something different we never seen, a species of animals that we never seen. It'll fuck everything up. But I and doubt it would ever happen. I mean, because everything into yeah, yep. Only because it's only certain billionaires like Elon is playing with trying to get in outer space, and I guess he's starting to hit the dome. Just like other episodes we did, uh, the old episode we did, uh, Simulation Theory. There are certain billionaires that are playing with trying to escape the simulation. So these billionaires know something we don't know. I guess when you get to a certain financial status, they say, hey, what we told you didn't exist do exist. Mm -hmm. But we can't figure out how to get get through it. But you can't tell nobody else about it. Or we'll remove your status as a billionaire. We'll reduce you back to nothing. Which is easy because a lot of because we run shit. Yeah, yeah, because it already happens. There's a lot of famous people that's already fucking spoken out of term and, and got shit snatched but, away from them. So now we have to assume and we we can end this soon. We have to assume that you go past the government when you talk about who would be in control of that that knowledge and who who you go past the government. Mm-hmm. You go to someone running basically the intelligence of the whole world like all nations at once so my thing is you can only assume that there's because it can't be humans humans have human needs human wants you know what i mean who's above like who's above all of that that decides what's what's for us and what's not what knowledge what knowledge can you give up that's going to destroy the whole world or empower the whole world who can do what who can't well I, I, it's got to be them if, if if you believe in the many many uh the people many land the theory, first resets you believe in if you believe in that reset. if you believe in that and if you believe in the emerald tablets we were created as imperfect human from god so maybe the people that run everything are these people in these other lands that are fucking like the closest thing to consider themselves gods because they got the technology and they probably put on earth 
or are playing to run this shit and say, hey, we really control it. Y'all are just a subspecies of us. You're and y'all come close. and y'all come with a defect that y'all can't get rid of in y'all biological makeup. Y'all stupid. It basically, <laughs> that's why we can't let you. That's why we won't allow allow certain <laughs> ones. That's why we won't allow y'all to get through. It's a ten percent brain. Listen, 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 because I'm, I'm about to we gave you a brain and then we well, lost ninety percent of it. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna let you escape this. But there are certain ones among you that are born, that are born with this gene. Born without that gene or that defect that makes you fucking almost godly or considered to be one of us. You are the ones that we allow to have this knowledge. We are the ones that allow you to fucking rule a little bit more over that dominion, but not overrule us. Is, people like Elon Musk and, 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 and Warren Buffett, they're fucking different. They're different. They think outside of the realm we think of. A lot of these billionaires and trillionaires, they think out of the realm of us. They don't think like us. They don't. That's how they fucking achieve these heights. Because anybody can say, yo, like uh, anybody could be an Elon Musk. Like they're born, you know, you're born every day to do what he does. Like, no, there's nobody that's thinking outside the box like he does. I don't know if his he came from a rich family, probably just a smart guy that just thought of a lot of things and and presented these adventures and got richer and richer and richer. Maybe he had some kind of gene in him that he got from these guys that he said, I can invent these things because these things come to me. I, I got lost technology that I can think of and I presented to human and I sell it to y'all. But once you fucking reach a certain status, then we pull the curtain back a little bit for you. Like, hey, let's let you see this real quick. Oh. Pull a little curtain, a little bit of curtain. Yeah, there is no outer space. It's a firmament. But you got to say it's space. Go see if you can uh, see if you can break through it. Elon. Who told him that? It's, it's people with the higher ups. It's got that's what I'm saying. If somebody's these millionaires get the curtain, these billionaires and trillionaires, he's about to be a trillionaire. They get the curtain pulled back a little bit for them. They see shit that we're not allowed to see. They know shit that we're not allowed to know about. I I agree wholeheartedly. I do think that every once in a while or every like I ain't gonna say century, but every you know life cycle, you have a couple people who do world changing things. I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you definitely like like you said, like hold the whole oh one uh, Elon is born every day. Yeah, but you still have to go through the certain things to, you know, to make you to make you that because he's it's not that he's a genius. I, I want to let you know that it's not that he's a genius because he's he's not a, he's not an actual genius. Um, he's smart, yeah, but he's not a genius. He I think he was running um what's that thing that we were using was he running paypal he was running one of those companies and then after that he because he didn't start tesla he he you know got brought into tesla and then you know ran tesla so at this point he just has so much money that he's able to start these other programs like the spacex program or he can buy x and stuff like that so he's really just ultra rich but he's not inventing anything um, he's overseeing, he's like, uh, Steve jobs, like Steve jobs. Don't get me wrong. These people were like in their own right. They're smart as hell, but they're not necessarily like, they're not like Albert Einstein discovering the, you know, discovering the theory of relativity or anything like that. They're more than they're, they're visionaries. It's probably the best way to say it. They're visionaries. So their vision, if you have the vision and the money, that's what makes you a world changer. Yeah, it's, this world changes, and not all are good. There are some bad world changes born. Yeah, um, Hitler. Hitler. Yeah, was that's a world changer that was bad. Yeah, uh, Genghis Khan, another world changer. Yeah, that was Gang born Gang. that was was just bad, ruthless. I'm saying maybe these, like I said, maybe these, maybe the reason they don't let us outside the wall. Which we got to do the Emerald Tablet one too. I really want to do that because that That'd speaks cool. on it. What we're what we descended from, and and even even in our own religion, and and uh, and and we are we are made in the image of God, but we don't have we don't possess all of His powers. We're just made in His image. Of what this is? We you know what I'm saying? We're, we're made in the image of our Creator. So, like I said. Maybe it's some truth to that because all religions say the same thing. I, you know, man was bought, was pulled from this part of uh, the heavens to be made here. So maybe we're not allowed to see this other part. But 
Mm-hmm. I'm saying that just to end this episode to get out of here. I think the next episode we're going to probably tap into the y'all cloning. Check out. Oh, no. never mind. No, I, I mean, we will get into that. We will get into that, but the next one we're really going to get into after this is UFOs. Because mm. we, mm-hmm. this will be extraterrestrial. Extraterrestrials, because they've been popping up a lot lately. They're in the news. It's not something that used and to be, hey, you saw a UFO, you were made out to be crazy. There are actually programs in the government that we're going to talk about that if you see a UP, uh, UAP, that's what they call them now, not UFOs, that you can report it to your government. There's branches of the government that you can report this to, send videos to. So I ain't gonna that's the that next shit. episode we're going to do. Niggas are going fucking branch your house. Like, you ain't seen nothing. Yeah. Hey, yo. The they, only thing you saw. Ass, so the only thing they saw is this. <laughs> you know on that you know on that note we end the episode peace hey Dave Chappelle took us out <laughs> man enjoy y'all enjoy y'all holiday weekend it's like not even holiday. holiday I'm broke bitch what the fuck are you talking about the holiday of being broke <laughs> tis the season <laughs> <laughs>